I, I, mean, I think that Professor Hannigan and, and the previous witnesses in, in your earlier session referred to some of this, which is that um, it's an entirely human thing to be scared and worried and to then think that the answer is to get a test. And so, you know, if I, again, give you some examples, a, a restaurant uh, owner contacted me yesterday where one of their staff had tested positive, and they then asked all of the staff to go and get tested, whereas actually, unless they had symptoms, they really didn't need to be tested. That could happen at any time. There's, the, there's no reason why September um, has resulted, has seen this increase in demand. I think we, again, as Professor Hannigan um, pointed to, I think um, with all of our children going back to school, um, we've seen a very marked increase in the number of young children coming forward to be tested. So a doubling of the, the number of children um, under 17 coming forward to be tested, and more than that in the ages of five to nine. And again, I think, as I say, I completely understand this. I've got children at school myself. The, the temptation is one of your children has a temperature, they need a test, but then the rest of the family gets tested we as well. We knew the children were going back to school in September, did we not? It didn't yes, come as a did. surprise. And, and we planned for a sizable increase in testing capacity. As I've just described, we've been adding testing capacity every day, every week, over the course of the last few weeks, uh, in anticipation. But not enough. Well, plainly as the... By, as, by a multiple factor, you said as the many Prime Minister, As the Prime Minister said yesterday, plainly we don't have enough testing capacity today, and we are doing everything in our power to increase the testing capacity.